Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We got a great video today. We're gonna talk about sentry mode and the dash cam. I'm gonna show you how to set it up and how you can view all the clips that are on there and how you can kind of control some of the settings that are involved with it. So as many of you may or may not know, the Tesla has multiple different cameras that are all built inside of the car and all the new Teslas come with them. We have a camera, the very top there, you can see a little bit in the main uh, windshield there. There's also cameras in the mirrors down here below, as well as in the side area. Sorry about the car, it's a little bit dirty right now. Um, and there's another camera, of course, back here uh, as well. On the other side we have here as well. These are great for seeing if anyone's gonna be on the side of your car for any door dings or anything like that that might influence things. And then of course you have one in the rear of the car right below the license plate itself that will shine on the back side of the car. So let's hop in the car and I'll show you how we can get everything set up. Okay, first things first. So you can see we're inside the car. It's quite a bit nicer in here. It's not as windy, uh, obviously inside the car. It's a, quite a bit windy outside. But first thing I wanna do is show you when you do click on the car icon here, you're gonna see a lot of your different controls here. You can turn on sentry mode automatically here. And um, turning on sentry mode will look for certain incidents that occur when the camera sees certain items in the car. And, um, and then it will actually record, um, I think it's up to a 10 minute clip if it sees that, and it will store it on a USB device. Now I'm gonna talk a little bit more about that here in a minute. One thing to be very careful of is when you do park your car, if you're gonna be doing it for a long duration, like at an airport or something, it does have a pretty large impact on the car's battery. So you gotta be very careful about that. I've actually uh, stored the car before, um, plugged it in. I had a pretty full, maybe about 80% of the battery full, left it at the airport for a couple days, which is great to have for security reasons. But unfortunately, when I got back a few days later, it had really worn the battery down to all the way down to like 40% left. And uh, I did have to go to a supercharger, which I wasn't expecting I needed to do uh, to get out of the city area so that I could avoid some traffic. So it is something to be, uh, to be aware of. Okay, so you can see here on the main dash, uh, this is how you can activate different elements um, to actually control some of the settings themselves. You can go under safety. And if you scroll down here, you have a couple options right here. Uh, the first is sentry mode is, is clicked on there. You can see that. We also can exclude your home or you can exclude work. So you do have to type in key addresses to actually exclude those and have those uh, built in there. You also have uh, favorites that you can exclude as well. Essentially, that means it was it's not gonna record incidents in those situations, which is gonna save memory on your uh, USB drive. Um, but I do definitely suggest getting a pretty large drive um, so that you can actually, uh, you know, store more than enough clips. And you kind of just leave it in, plugged in. You don't actually have to worry about things for a long period of time. So we'll talk a little bit more about that here in a minute. Um, you can view live camera via the mobile app. I'll show you that here in a minute. We'll have to step back out of the car again to show that. Uh, the dash cam could be turned off. You can put it on manual, and if you do have it on manual, the only way to record that is you do have to bring this up here, and then you would actually hit record to actually manually record. But what it will do is record the last 10 minutes. So that's a really nice uh, feature there. If, if there's an incident that's happening, you pulled over on the side of the road and you wanna do a manual recording, you can do that. Um, but you also can do auto. So auto will just look for certain things and then record them when it does um, um, feel like a, a, a hard braking incident all of a sudden, or the car curved you know, hard right or hard left, it will automatically record the last 10 minutes. And then of course you have a on honk, which is an also a nice feature to have as well. So anytime I hit the horn, on the car, it's gonna record the last 10 minutes. And I think that's one of the best features because honestly, like if you're in a situation, you might hit the horn when someone's kind of going into your lane or something like that. So every time you hit the horn, it will record the last 10 minutes of that incident and continue to record. So that's a really nice thing to have. 
um, as well right right there. You can also um, go in and delete all of the clips that you may have available. I'm gonna show you here in a minute how to view the clips and you can actually format new USB drives also. So that also makes it a little bit easier to, um, to insert new USB drives um, and keep them in there. But again, if you get a large USB drive, then you shouldn't have to worry about that. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, dive into um, the USB drives and how that actually works here. Okay, we're sitting outside the passenger side door here and I'm gonna go ahead and open up the glove compartment so you can see exactly where uh, the USB drive goes. And it makes it real easy to insert a new USB drive. So let's go ahead and open up the uh, glove compartment here. There we go. See it pops right open. Now you can see down in there, see that little silver stick there? That's, let me zoom in here. That's actually the USB drive that Tesla provided for us. Now that's only 128 gigabytes of storage. I just purchased a new USB drive uh, so that I could have a little more storage. And this is the one that, um, that I would recommend. I just picked this up on Best Buy, but you can also get this on Amazon and have it delivered. It's 256 gigabytes. It's a uh, pro version. So it will write um, directly to the USB drive very fast and it keeps everything updated really nicely so i definitely recommend investing in a nice this was only about 24 dollars, so not that expensive at all um, again you can get these probably on sale as well but you do need to make sure that it can read and write most importantly write continuously at a fast speed so you're not going to be getting one of those cheap free usb drives that you might get at trade shows and stuff you're actually going to want to get a higher quality one that that can write directly to it a little bit faster and then again you'll pull that one out just slides right out and then you can stick this one in and then we'll go through the formatting process here in a second i'll show you exactly how that works okay so before we go into formatting the usb drive i do want to show you how you can view different clips that uh, the dash cam did record. I've got some actually pretty good ones here to show you. So at any point you can click here and there is the, obviously the cameras. This is just giving you live feeds of your cameras in real time. So uh, this is the rear of my car right there. This is the left side. You can click on any of these if you want to as well um, to get the, the real live feed. I don't need a live feed of the front of it because I'm actually looking at the front of the car but you can see in the rear of the car, you can see there's actually another Tesla back there. So these are the live feeds of the camera. The other camera you want here is the sentry mode camera. Now, this is gonna give us um, clips. That's actually our messy garage right there. But um, what I'm gonna, you can click on this icon in the upper left corner here. And this is all the different clips you may have. Uh, that one at the very top there is, it says July 4th, which is actually today. And um, that's the clip I just tested uh, a little while ago to make sure that I could do the video. But you can see a lot of these other clips happened back in San Diego. For those of you that follow my channel, you may have seen the road trip that we went on back in San Diego. So that was really nice to have that uh, capable right there. So you can see a lot of different clips right here. Um, now, what happened in San Diego is we actually went on a cruise and I parked the car in a garage for about, I think it was five days. And so you can see here, if I click on that clip that happened way back then, you can see the cars actually parked there. You have the front, which we're looking at now. You have the rear, you can see motion, and this was all being recorded back on October 4th. You have the left, and most importantly, look at the right recording here. So this individual is just getting into his car, grabbing something. Um, but if he were to have keyed my car, or he would have done any damage to my car, you're gonna have that all on a great recording. And when he pulls out of his parking spot, you're also gonna get his license plate number if you need to file a direct report against him for doing anything against your car. This in itself is one of the best features about Sentry Mode, is it can record if anyone tries to do any damage and they have no idea. Now, I do think the main screen here does have a, a red dot that shows up and it says it's recording. I also heard that the um, the lights flash when the recordings start, giving people a strong warning, but you can see the quality of that video is just outstanding. 
And again, any individual that may go in and out or around your car is gonna be recorded and that's great. I mean, he almost hit my mirror right there. If he would have hit it frivolously and damaged it really bad, then we would have something to, uh, to go after a repair bill. So that's a really nice feature that Century Mode does provide. But again, you can down here, you have a lot of controls. You can pause, you can play. You can see that red dot does indicate when something big happened, how long the, the video clip is, and then you can actually delete those clips as well. Um, up above here, you have all those clips available. Um, again, this is when we were parked for that cruise. So this is one of the reasons that it does wear down quite a bit on the battery. This is a night clip, but you can see on our left side now, um, there's a motorcycle and on the right side, it's a different car. But again, as cars go in and out of a public parking area, even though we were parked there for a couple of days, you're able to capture everything. And that's just outstanding. One of the best things about Sentry Mode. For any of you that have not activated it yet, please do so because this is just an amazing feature to be able to view these clips. You can again, delete the clips if you need to, which is really nice and very easy to do. All right, let's go ahead and look a little bit closer at the uh, specific USB drives and how those actually go in. Okay, these are the two USB drives. This one here, this Tesla one, is the one that came with the car, 128 gigabytes. Uh, not bad at all. It's actually kind of cool. To Everything Tesla makes is kind of cool, but it's a stainless steel, uh, really nice uh, USB drive. I'll certainly use this for something else, maybe my computer, because it's pretty cool. It's got the Tesla logo on it. But again, I wanna put a 256 one in. So I'm gonna stick this one in there and then uh, we're gonna go through exactly how it's formatted and everything and show you how that's done. So I'll be right back here, putting it in the car. Okay, we just stuck it in the plug down in here. You can see the new one's plugged in there in the glove compartment. So we can go ahead and now we're gonna try to format it here. So we go back to our main screen here and let's go ahead and click on this icon, we're gonna go down to uh, safety and then we have format USB drive. Let's go ahead and hit format here. And it's just reminding you, you gotta have a certain USB drive and it is gonna delete anything on there that may already be on there once we go through the formatting process. So you can see the wheel spinning now, it is formatting the drive in real time. It says success. That's how fast it takes to format it. So we are all formatted, set to go. We are gonna exclude our home because we are able to park the garage in, the, in a garage so it's well protected. Um, we're not gonna exclude work because I am still working from home many days and I don't go into the office too much. And frankly, when I am in the office, um, I do wanna be able to record in sentry mode as well because it is not a secured office or anything. Other than that, it's gonna record in most other places. I'm gonna exclude my favorites because I do want it to record in those other areas as well. And then we do have it on auto and on honk. So that is the dash cam itself that will help you if you're driving around and there are any car incidences that may impact you as well. So the new USB uh, drive is set up. Go ahead and, oops, excuse me, hit the horn there. So it, maybe it did record that already, I'm not sure. But we'll go ahead and click in here. See, it does say recording saved. There you go. Let's go ahead and look at the, um, the uh, dash cam here. And you can see these are the recordings we have already. And uh, this is the clip we just recorded on the new USB drive. So you can see there it is, is a minute and 58 seconds uh, that it recorded. And uh, you can go ahead and hit play and you're able to watch all the cameras, all four cameras are recording that in real time and showing you that. So you can see as the um, scrubber is cycling through and there's uh, seconds that are being added in as it's going. So it's really, really that easy uh, to set this up. And again, if you get the right USB stick, it should be very, very easy to format. I'm gonna show you guys uh, this stick again. Uh, here it is, and hopefully the camera can focus in on it. But it, this is the 256 SanDisk Ultra Fit uh, it's a USB 3.1 flash drive. And again, SanDisk, it's a great brand name. This is also one of the ones that Tesla recommends. So I highly suggest you go out and get one of these. Again, they have these on Amazon. I did get this at Best Buy, but you can get them anywhere 
out there. So really, really easy to use and set up. And you can see how great of a feature it is. Those San Diego features I was showing you when I parked the car for a cruise, just outstanding. Just be aware that it will wear down your battery on the car. Believe it or not, it's, it's pretty extensive. Uh, a lot more than you would expect by burning off many miles on the car. So if you do, you know, supercharge the car before you park it a long period of time at an airport or at a, a, a cruise terminal, be aware of that. Prepare yourself for it so that when you do come back, you can stop and um, and actually. Uh, oh, the other thing it will do is log all the incidents that occur, and you are able to view them here all in real time which is really nice. It will break them up between dash cam, which again is while you're driving, and sentry mode, which are gonna be secure uh, situations that occur, like just like you saw in the footage of that individual that was walking near the side of the car. So uh, please like the video. If you guys have any questions or comments, please put that below. I wanna make sure I answer those for you guys. Thanks again for tuning into the channel and listening and watching. Again, if you guys have any questions at all, please let me know, but please like the video. Take care, everyone.